What is going on guys, Is Ashley here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be talking about the game between Wolves and Newcastle, which ended a one-all draw, but I feel like um, it should really have been three points. At the beginning, um, it was more of um, what we've been used to at the start of games this season, um, starting quite slowly, um, and um, the... Uh, Opposing team having the brighter start. Uh, Newcastle took full advantage in uh, the opening stages uh, with Miguel Armoron um, getting uh, the opening goal. Uh, a nice finish, um, but it's definitely always, obviously um, not the start we would have wanted. Um, not the start that Nuno would have, Nuno would have wanted. But seven minutes later, uh, the Angles and Anglonka did uh, equalise from a corner, which was promising um, because. Uh, we well, yeah. First half goals have uh, been h quite hard to come by this season, um, so it was nice that um, we actually scored one uh, in this game. It was a bit of false hope. Um, it's a bit of false hope uh, that equaliser because, well, not exactly false hope because we did have uh, quite a few opportunities afterwards, um, but um, you would have you would have thought after we got back on level terms. Um, maybe we would have um, pushed on and eventually um, got that all-important goal, but um, it never mat materialised, although we did have uh, a few good chances uh, throughout the game, especially in the first half. Uh, Martin De uh, in the Newcastle goal make, made an exceptional save um, to, keep, to keep out Jimenez from two yards out. Um, somehow um, Newcastle weren't behind there. Um, and um, that was that was the biggest chance for us in the first half, and we somehow um, somehow didn't take it. Um, nothing um, nothing Jimenez could do about it. It was just a magnificent save, really, from Marketing to Bravka. Um, but he would uh, prove to be the um, he would prove to be uh, the frustrator uh, as the game went on, um, and. In the second half, he made another magnificent save. Um, this time, I think it was Pedro Neto. Uh, he made a, a magnificent save from. Um, and, yeah, as I say, uh, the ultimate frustrator. And um, he was probably the most definitely the main reason why we didn't get the three points uh, today. Newcastle in the second half. I mean, in the first half, they made a blistering start and, and obviously uh, got the lead. Um, but after that, after we'd equalised, um, I didn't see much of Newcastle. Um, obviously, it was an injury injury played for first half for, for them. Uh, Dwight Gale going off, um, uh, Florian Eugene, uh replacing Paul Dummett. Um, so, an injury riddled first half for Newcastle United. Um, so that's. Um, probably why they were never the same um, um, after the uh, after the equaliser, um, because they 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 were riddled with injuries and I couldn't really uh, get going again. And for the first half, really, um, um, no one could really get going because of the, the uh, stoppages in play um, and the the injuries. It just killed the flow of the game in the first half. Um, in the second half, Newcastle was pretty much non-existent. They were, they were well, um, they were all, all they were doing really was um, was sitting back and defending and defending and defending. And it worked. Um, uh, they were play they were playing negative, um, trying to hold on for the point. In some way, in some ways, it that's all you can do if you've had a couple of um, key players injured. Uh, that's all you can do and try try and hold on for what you've got. Um, which they did so, but on the other hand, it's it's quite negative football. And it's when you, when you've when you've really um, been hit with injuries in a game, you, you just have to try try and go for it um, and do whatever. Uh, but obviously Newcastle wanted to make sure um, wanted to guarantee the points, um, and in the end, the points were shared, and it's quite disappointing because we really. Um, if Martin de Bravica didn't exist, um, we we would have got three points there. Um, but 
we move on now, uh, unfortunately, to the uh, game against Manchester United uh, way on Wednesday uh, in the FA Cup third round replay. Um, it would have been nice uh, to go into that game with a win, but hopefully we can beat Man United. Um, it was a pretty put, um, average um, game uh, last Saturday. Hopefully it can be improved and hopefully we can get the win to get ourselves into the fourth round and play over either Watford or Tranmere away from home. Um, so, yeah, um, overall quite disappointing uh, point to get. Uh, normally, normally it's... It's okay. It's a it's a decent decent point, but um, Newcastle uh, mid table side credit credit to them. They 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 sat in and they they um they, they got what they wanted. But teams like that, we really should be trying to to um, smash and grab and get get three points off. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't today, and that's probably something we need to look at in the January transfer window. Um, we need someone like a Patrick Catrone who's the only reason I can I can see he he's gone to Fiorentina is is because he's some for some odd reason he's he's out of favour. I I thought he was, I thought he was quite a decent striker, but obviously uh, Nuno doesn't didn't agree. But we need someone like him. We need something someone like Patrick Catrone who uh, could act as a super sub and come on and try and get those three points when we're struggling to break down a team like Newcastle who are just playing negative and trying to play for the draw and trying to guarantee um, at least a point. Um, yeah, in, in, in those games when you don't have a striker, well, when you don't have a, a, a striker as a super sub like Patrick Trone, you, you, you're kind of stuck. You, you're, you're trying and trying, but you end up most of the time, nine times, nine times out of ten, um, unless you're a big six side and you can you have um, you, you have that depth um, to uh, to get those that, those goals late on to win your games but that's something we obviously don't have at the moment and the tr that's why the trans January transfer window is open and hopefully uh, we can get um, a striker who will get us goals uh, in those vital times and that's that's what we were missing today. That's the main thing we were missing today is is a clinical finisher um, who will just get you those points. Um, yeah, quite disappointing overall. Uh, but we just have to move on now until, uh, to the game against Manchester United on Wednesday in the FA Cup. Uh, hopefully we can go through to the fourth round there. Um, if we do manage to win there, could potentially set up um, depending on what happens in the Watford Tranmere game, it could potentially set up a replay of the um, FA Cup semi final from last season. Um, yeah, if you did enjoy this Wolves video, make sure to smash that like button, uh, and I shall see you um, on probably on Thursday because uh, obviously it's a Wednesday night game. Uh, I'll see you on Thursday with a review. Um, of the Manchester United game. Until then, goodbye guys.